If you two decide, like, honestly, Artem, you think Nicole's too much to handle and you're out. What happens? Is it 50-50? I mean, Mateo would come with me because I'm the mother. Well, yeah. first of all, because you travel so much, I feel like I do have a more chances of having the kids. You're always busy, you're always on the phone. Yeah, but if I can... So I feel like I actually, I'll probably... Okay, but what if you're dancing for... and wow. you're in season Thanks. and then on tour? What, is he well, gonna I'm be dancing on stage right now, with you? Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's okay, you can see him You would want Mateo to be with his mom 24-7. I mean, I would want the best for the kid. Yeah. yeah. Which is Here. me. So, what are we doing now? Calling a lawyer? Artem, we definitely have a lot we need to figure out. I don't think you can just decide, yeah, if we break up, Mateo goes with you. Or if we break up, Mateo goes with me. I don't think that's the case. It's going to be obviously evaluating the situation where both of, both of us in our lives, at what stage and where we are. Yeah. It's not about deciding now, because what if things change dramatically and God knows what can happen. Like, you don't make those decisions in this moment. Right. Know? I agree. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think you and I both at the end of the day want the best life for Matteo, no matter sure. what. So, he's the focus. I'm not the planner, but I understand the importance of it, for sure. So it's like my parents got divorced when I was in third grade. So it was like my, my dad wasn't around a whole lot. Right. So I never got to see parenting from the father's perspective on a full-time basis, you know? Gotcha. So like it's parenting from a distance, so. My dad was like awesome, not boss, still. He's like an awesome dad. I've yeah. never had like any bad experience. So for me, it's just always be there for, for my kid, you know? Yeah. That's the number one thing that. Yeah. I want to get rid of the idea of our family always being far away from each other, not close. All of those things I want to let go of, and I give these things to the fire. Oh, Artem? The things I want to let go is fear of becoming a father, because I don't know what that really takes, and really bring to this world a child who will be a good person and do good. And my parents were always the most understanding and supportive people that I know, that I want to take every single quality from them and hoping to be half as what they are. Oh. I hope. Everything you had to read in the book was really hard for you. How are you dealing with everything? You know, it was my private story. Right. Like what I went through and what I did therapy on, everything was my story. Right. And then all of a sudden, the parts of my story I hated, I read. Yeah. And it was hard. Right. Um, it was mm -hmm. it was all my personal feelings, right? It's the, whether you want to call it shame or guilt or whatever, as a mother, do you do anything to protect your children? Even with your story with the rapes, that I wasn't there to protect you, or I was, that you were like, mom's going through her own shit, so I'll just handle this myself at 16, or how old yeah. you were. As a mom, you, you're like, you know, I failed. <laughs>